Hi guys, I've got a request from Seven Plane Crazy to make a boat from one of those tin foil uh, trays that takeaway food comes in. In fact, he wants it to be a rubber band powered boat. Well, that's what I'm going to do with this. But before I do that, because I'm going to have to bend it up quite a bit to make the shape I want for the boat, I'm going to make a car with it. Just an ordinary rubber band powered car. For no reason other than I want to make the car before I make the boat. All I'm going to do is bend the edges up. And then I'll push a hole through both ends for the axles to go through. And then I'll use my usual CDs with plastic bottle tops hot glue to the middle for the wheels. And barbecue skewers for the axles. There'll be a link in the video description on how to make these as an individual video on its own so I don't have to spend time doing it now. So all I'm going to do now, as I say, is push a couple of holes through, push the axles through, attach a rubber band and send it up my kitchen. I'm folding that over so that we've got extra thickness because if you wind up the rubber bands too tightly then it'll actually pull the axle through the aluminium because it doesn't have a lot of strength. So the important thing will be to try and get them parallel so the car at least goes reasonably straight. go and get a pen so I can mark it up and I'll use this piece of wood as a gauge to get the holes parallel at both ends. hole at the end to attach the rubber band to. Remember these aren't very strong, these aluminium things, so if you over tighten this, that's going to bend. band over the top, wrap it round so it's gripping itself, wind it up, Well that works doesn't it? I'll 
just send it back the other way. Success. Summary time. What have we got? We've got a rubber band powered car made from a tin foil or aluminium foil takeaway tray. Four CDs, eight plastic bottle tops, two barbecue skewers, and some rubber bands. You need a hot glue gun to glue the bottle tops to the CDs or a suitable sort of glue that you can get hold of. I use hot glue gun because it's very quick and easy. And you need a pointy stick, a nail or something like this, this is called a braddle, to make the holes in the bottle tops and in the metal tray. And that's it. Job done.